Hello? Are you listening? You, you watching, yeah? Right. Once upon a time, that's how all stories start, but this is, this is better than most. This is a good story. Fables is a virtual production-based animation project uh, that is using the Unreal Engine to retell classical tales like Tortoise and the Hare, Three Little Pigs, Boy Who Cried Wolf. We built out an international virtual production-based workflow using Unreal at the core with teams in New Zealand. We have our animation teams in Vancouver, and we have actually built a small motion capture stage in our LA offices. We started looking at getting involved with Unreal because we wanted to tell many different stories and be able to tell those stories in an efficient way, and this by far was the best way for us to do that. And this pipeline allowed us to move really quickly, efficiently, and to be able to work from home in a virtual pipeline that allowed us to sort of bring incredible artists together from around the world. It allowed us to actually tap into our live action crew members, and now they can step in without it being intimidating. They're able to sit and actually make creative decisions in real time through a video chat. Yeah, no nothing better than directing from your kitchen table. <laughs> you know, it's pretty pretty amazing to capture all this unbelievable stuff and and do that from home remotely. It's a, it's just it's an amazing pipeline. Fables is unique in itself, that where it has eight episodes that are completely isolated episodes. So every single episode has a brand new storyline, brand new environment. From the get-go, we actually started thinking about this as one cohesive world called Little Hamilton. We made sure that this was an open world. It had many textures, many environments, many locations, but one central hub that was Little Hamilton so that we can always come back to it and discover new parts. And that from a multiple season perspective too, it's like we're creating the universal backlog. The efficiency of this pipeline, what it gives us in real time is just uh, nothing that we've ever been able to, to use before. In our workflow, we actually go through a virtual camera process. And at full steam, uh, with one operator, we could get through over 125 camera setups a day. He'll text me and say, hey, look at this. And then four minutes later, he'll say, well, how about this? And you know, an hour later, he'll say, how about this? Just not an experience I've ever had with animation. It's not possible. What we're really trying to aim for is trying to get as far as we can in the engine because it provides us with so many tools. We are running through a traditional um, DI pass, but the goal is to get as final image out of the engine as possible. When you put someone into a session and, oh, by the way, we can paint clouds. Oh, you want to you want to paint in God rays. You want to tweak this animation. You want to do this and that uh, just to make the image more beautiful. And then you have this sense of panic. It's like I've been doing things the wrong way for my entire life. For me, one of the many exciting things about you know, producing in this real-time environment, it starts with that TV series, but then on top of that series will be the games, will be the merch, will be licensing, will be music, will be publishing. And we get to do all these other things with these same assets, like wow. That's where Unreal really shows its true potential. There is nothing else on the marketplace, nor is there currently that could compete with just what's available to us inside the Unreal Engine. I think Unreal is the most filmmaker-centric engine out there. We're just getting started. We're not limited by anything other than our imagination, and that's good fun.